What's up guys, welcome back to the video. It's me, Waken. And today I will be just showing off this very cool mod menu that I found in uh State of Decay. So let's just get right into it. So this is the entire thing. You can see it's kind of simple, kind of an older look on it, but it is an old game. So these are the, all your hotkeys. This would be very important if you're trying to go quick. Like if you're doing missions or something like that and you have to do something quick, this would really help. Or it's just pretty convenient, very easy, that kind of stuff. So, one thing I noticed is you don't click to actually enable stuff. You use spacebar, as you can see up here. And just in case you're confused, it says it right up here. So it's perfect. So let's just go down each one and I'll show you what each one means. They're pretty self-explanatory, but whatever. Viking mode is infinite everything, pretty much. It's like infinite health, no uh, infinite stamina, that kind of stuff. It makes it so you're pretty much a god. You know, you're pretty much invincible against anything. Invisible to Zeds, it's, it, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You're invisible to zombies. Zombies won't attack you, they won't go near you, they won't do anything like that. Now down, disable, disable Zeds is just... They're gone. <laughs> it kind of removes the whole point of this game, and it removes zombies. I do this when I'm testing vehicles, when I'm testing stuff. I will disable Zeds, and I'll drive around the map and explore and find new areas without having risks of getting attacked or hurting my car or anything like that. So, show key presses, I'm pretty sure this is like, like that. As you can see, it's like showing what you press. So, as you can see, you can press space, and it'll say... It'll say like where you are, so this is the M axis, Y, X, if you're going across, Y, if you're going up and down, and then you can press W and A and D and S. This would be very important for showing up tutorials. So like, you know, what buttons you have to press. And we can just press space and disable it. So infant durability, I'm pretty sure this is about your your weapons. So this is so your weapons don't mess up. Then infinite consumables, it's anything you can consume, you have infinite of. So like this food here, I'm guessing if I try to eat it, it's going to stay at 6 and not go down. Okay, show infestations. So this will show the infestations in the entire map and pretty much allow you to know where each one is so you can either avoid them or attack them however you please and this will be in the area. So you can see right here, it shows the infestation, two screamers, shows here here and here. So there's four in this area. Okay. Let us go back. Okay. So that's everything in this area. So I have a send from console button, but this is everything in this area over here. Let's go over to the other side. So to start off, we have the vehicle spawner tab. So this is the one that I use the most. This pretty much allows you to spawn any vehicle in the game that ever was. So you should press space you have a few more menus. You have cars, you have trucks, vans, and SUVs, and you have armor and apocalypse. So these are going to be your three vehicle categories, and this is going to be your custom. So this, we'll go to this first. So this will be all your vehicle customization. So if you just press spawn car platform, you will be entered into this very messed up car, and you'll be able to change the buttons, change the stuff, you can even go to roof, not a roof. And you'll be able to pretty much fully customize anything you want with this vehicle. And go ahead and just add anything, make it look very Mad Maxi, very interesting like that. And then when you're done, you just click back, you press F1, and you'll be able to drive your vehicle around. Yeah. Okay, let's head back to the safe house so we can continue with this. Okay, so this is all pretty, as I said, explanatory, self-explanatory, you can go through each one of these and spawn them in with their with their code. So you have police cars, so this will be your Trumbull County, uh, Trumbull Valley police car, this will be the sheriff car, and then Danforth, this will be from the Lifeline DLC, this is your police car from Danforth, and this will be the light blue and dark blue police car, and this will be the green and light green police car. So then you have your muscle car, your muscle car new, your muscle car with a different variant, I'm, it's saving one side. Let's go back in. Muscle car new variant. Muscle car new variant white. Muscle car red. Teal. New variant. Shiny. 
And then you have your police car, you have your uh, sedan old, beater, sports sedan, sports sedan gold, your variant one, your sports sedan white, you can just click to go to the next one. The US boat car, wagon, and then you do different colors for your boat car. Your boat car is a long car, it's like the, uh, I think it's called the Caprice. Pretty sure it's the Caprice. Okay. So I'm not 100% sure if I want to go through each one of these, but I'll check out some of the special ones. So that's the Danforth Police Car. As you can see, it'll just teleport you in after you complete the tutorial. If you com don't complete the tutorial, you will not be able to actually drive these. It'll just say, damn, it's locked, damn, it's locked, damn, it's locked, over and over again. So you won't be able to do this. So complete the tutorial. Once you get to the church, you'll be able to spawn in the vehicles and have fun. So this vehicle, fully operational, as you can see, it will have a slight glitch with going different areas but then it'll continue and it'll fix itself and you'll be able to drive again so obviously with control you have to turn on the lights and you can actually explore this with this car in a very unrealistic area where this vehicle is not supposed to be which is Trouble County and you can do this with the lifeline as well and um, the other one and you can pretty much you know have these vehicles and have this police car have the sheriff one if you really want to you know, if you wanted to claim dibs on some of the better gear... Oh yeah, that's something I'll show as well, by the way. Yeah, I can claim anything. So one thing I've noticed is when you step out of a vehicle, you cannot step back into it. The only way to fix this is to press 6, and you will teleport back into the last vehicle that you spawned, or that you got into, and that will pretty much allow you to do it. Okay, let's move on to the next area. So that's how the vehicle spawner works. You can spawn in any of these. Um, anything that you want. I may make a separate video going through each vehicle here because there's a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's like 20 vehicles in this game. So that's pretty cool, other than the undrivable ones at the bus and stuff like that. So I'll go through this at a different point. Let's go back. And we'll have, we have trucks, vans, and SUVs. So this will be all your vehicles here. So these are your van cargos, your SUVs, your pickups. This is to pick up old, this is the old 60s one, um, and this is the pick up new, this is the long, like, GMC Sierra kind of vehicle. Um, and then you have your, obviously, vans. Um, so this will be the normal Tahoe, like the SUV one, or the Yukon, I'm not sure which one it is. And then this is your new variant, I'm not completely sure what this one is, but it has, like, the rammer on the front, it's, like, all black, it could be, like, a government vehicle, I'm not sure. Let's go back, so if armor and apocalypse, these will be all your special vehicles. So this will have a Hummer as well, which you're not able to drive in the normal game, by the way, I don't think. I haven't seen it around, so I don't think you can actually drive it. Um, but this will be your your Humvee, and this will be your vanilla Humvee, so you'll be able to go in and drive this vehicle around and kind of have fun with it, because you wouldn't normally be able to drive it, I don't think. So let's just let it correct itself, there we go. And you'll be able to drive the Humvee around. So as you can see, it's not a very... it's not a vehicle that's normally supposed to be in the game, and that's why you go right through the door just like you do with this vehicle, because it's not supposed to normally be in the game. And so the animation to actually be able to open the door and close it will not be scripted. Okay. So these are all your other vehicles. As I said, I may make a video going through them, but for now, we're just going to move on from that. We have your custom, which I already explained, and then you have your teleporter tab. Your teleporter tab will allow you to go to any of your homes in the entire game, so you'll be able to go to... This is different areas, and this is actually the vanilla and the break, breakdown area. So, here you have the Alamo, you have the Outland, Big John, this is the church right here, you have the ranger station from the original part of the game, you have Riverside, the town, you have Daniel's farm, you have the rodeo, and you have their warehouse. You also have extra, which is the garage, or sorry, the grange, and for Lifeline, you have the military base that you, you start out with, uh, with that game. Um, I'll probably make a video going through each one of these, and that'll be next after this video, after this is published. I'll probably go and make that, and then you can actually go through each one of these locations and hope that my game doesn't crash. Okay, community tab. So community tab is actually a little bit more difficult than the rest of the stuff. So adding items to just, this is pretty self-explanatory. You can add all melee, all guns, all items, all backpacks, and all ammo to your little chest, and you'll be able to equip it, but you can only equip a few things. And this is how you can change that. So you can click back, and you can add one member. Do not spam this. If you spam it, you'll crash your game. And then here you have add 1,000 influence. So pretty much if you do this, you'll be able to use all these items. And I'll show you how to do that. It's right here in, in F5, but I'll show you that after. That's your community tab. So 
So here's your different saves. This is like your, your personal teleporter, as it says right here. These are your different save positions. Um, I won't really show this off too much, but this will probably be... Pretty much you can save your position, and then if you're in an area where you don't want to be, you can just load the position and go back. Teleport to cart, this will be your, I'm pretty sure, their last, last spawn vehicle. Yep, and you'll be able to go right into it, and you can see it right here, spawn last vehicle and teleport to the vehicle, and that'll be just 6 and 5 on your uh, keyboard. And as you can see, it'll work perfectly. Okay, step out of it. So, pretty much, this is nearing the end of the video. You can see all your key bindings, your hotkeys on this side. So it'll be kill all zombies, spawn zombies, you can spawn a zombie if you want one. You can spawn the base inventory, and you can go to the F6 and actually spawn uh, scan the entities and the uh, coordinate viewer. Okay, so let's do F5. And this will be pretty much your supply locker in your building. This will be wherever your safe zone is, which will be the church for me. So this will show you all your guns, and if you did the add all guns in the community tab, you'll have every single gun in the game. And pretty much just be able to just take and press space, and it'll put it right into your inventory. You can even take one of these ones, the Cleo DMR, put it into there, the, D, the DMG, and then you'll be able to press press tab, equip them. There you go. And then you'll be able to actually see what ammo this, this takes, um, 40 caliber, so you just press F5, go to ammo and find 40 caliber right here, and you just take a few rounds and then you'll be able to use this pretty much infinitely. Um, then you have the 9mm for the Glock, and then you for this, I'm guessing this takes 7, yeah, 7.62 millimeter, and there's your 7.62 millimeter. And you also have incendiary shotgun shells for your burning diplomat. Diplomat, sorry. Low profile, slim but brutal incendiary. So this has an incendiary bullets, and this will be able to take down pretty much any zombie that you go against. It's it's very cool. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I will probably make another video going through each vehicle and each community thing, and I'll, I'll make a video at some point going through the saves. I'm not sure, maybe not. But thank you very much for enjoying, uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I hope you go and download this mod because it's very fun. This is on PC, so I don't know if it works on console. I don't think it does, but this is on PC. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Sorry for not uploading in a while, just school stuff like that. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.